Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, we'll be discussing about OS command injection vulnerability. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. Uh, if you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to join my community in order to get your doubts or queries solved, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, uh, in the previous videos I covered regarding the bug bounty recon or you can also name it as web application recon. Okay, web application, pen testing, recon or anything like that. So in this video, we'll be discussing about one of the top uh, rated OS vulnerability which is an injection based vulnerability uh, which is nothing but command injection or sometimes you can call it as OS command injection okay so mostly people call it as OS command injection so let me try to explain you this so OS in the sense operating system here okay so OS is nothing but an operating system so let me try to be clear here. So let me break this thing into some segments. So first of all, let me come to this injection part. So injection is something like uh, not a normal injection that you uh, experience in hospital. So this injection is like you try to mention or try to inject some payloads. So inject in the sense like we are trying to send some payload. Okay. Uh, inject payloads to uh, what you call this web app. Okay. So you try to inject some payloads to the web app. So what kind of payload which are related to the OS commands. So guys, uh, let me go back a bit farther. So there is something like if you are familiar, like if you are using your operating system or if you're using your device for a long time, there are some few popular operating systems like Windows, or Linux and Mac. Okay. And Mac OS. So what this uh, what this operating system consists of is they consist of two factors, which is nothing but a GUI and a CLI or CUI. So GUI in the sense a graphical user interface. So let me be clear. Like if you find an icon, you can click on that icon there and you will open an application or a file or anything like that. And command line injection uh, in command line interface is nothing but uh, you try to access the stuff or you try to run some application. You try to open some different files with the help of commands. Okay. So commands are uh, if like there are a few commands like let me go with something like simple. Who am I? Okay. And uh, like ping. Okay. Uh, netcat. So and also guys one important thing to remember is the commands for uh, Linux is different with windows and it is different with mac os like there might be a few uh commands which might be similar uh similar like ping or uh, etc like that okay but most of the time they will be they will differ okay so this is what uh regarding operating system commands means okay so what happens is and there is one more thing so all so the web applications we use okay uh, the web apps we use are hosted on the server Okay, so hosted on the server in the sense. So this servers has a public IP address here. So if you don't know regarding that, uh, I link you my video regarding that. Uh, I made a video on that. You can do check that out. So these web applications are hosted on a server. So servers are nothing but a computer. Okay, so which is like a computer, but uh, which which has some lot of uh, resources. Uh, consider it like 128 GB of RAM. 100 terabytes of storage etc etc like that okay so this is uh, related to web application so if you as i told you previously that server is nothing but a computer kind of thing so there might be definitely an operating system right so every uh, os or uh, every server server has an operating system right so whether it can be windows okay uh, windows based or it can be Linux based or it can be anything. Okay. So what happens is, so what, whatever the data that you are sending to the web application is going to be executed on the server side. So what can possibly happen is this server is executing. Like if you, if there is something like uh, a search panel. Okay. So you search for something like uh, apples. 
so what so this request is going to be sent from your machine to the server and it is going to be executed at the server side and it is going to display the results whether if it is available or not so what possibly happen what is happening here is so almost all the data that you are going to uh, enter in a web application is going to be get executed at the server side so as we discussed though this is what the os command injection is if you like let me uh, uh, concatenate each and everything so we try to inject a payload okay so which has malicious kind which is of malicious type okay so this that is what an attacker does so so that is what so when we inject some payload there so as we as i told you earlier that almost all the data that we are going to inject is going to be executed on the server side and the server is running an operating system so whenever you try to run something malicious then this server is going to execute that and it can possibly go wrong there so what can possibly happen is you might get a reverse shell or you can get some uh, data okay like uh, at sea shadow or some other data any sensitive data so that is what os command injection is. so let me be clear so whenever you inject some malicious payload okay uh, it is going to be executed on the server side and this is what we are going to com uh, commercialize now okay so we will be sending a payload which uh, can trigger some os command okay so it can be a who am i or it can be a netcat reverse shell it can be a simple cat of hc uh, password or anything like that so that is what os command injection is and this is one of the top rated uh, vulnerability so if you try to report this kind of uh, vulnerability you will be getting paid a lot of amount so now we'll dive into the uh, practical part so guys uh, before uh, showing you a practical example so i want to uh, focus on an important topic so what uh, if this is like how to run two or more terminal commands once in a Linux. So right now I'm focusing completely or I'm assuming that my server or my web application is using a Linux uh, kind of thing, Linux environment. So it will be different for Windows as well. So like you can tr uh, try to find out a lot of blocks and I'll try to mention one in the description below as well. So as I told you earlier that I'm focusing on a Linux thing. So this is uh, a this is one of a nice blog like how you can run two or more things two or more com uh, commands at a time so there are three important parameters there the first one is a semicolon so you can see like if you mention the commands uh, like a command followed by colon semicolon followed by command like that so you can see the output is displayed one by one okay and one thing is end operator so if you are familiar with programming so end so like uh, it so so let's assume that there are two commands like mkdrm my folder and cd my folder so this part once this particular command executes then this will execute okay so when like if this particular command has some true value kind of thing so that is what an end operator means okay and there is something called as a logical or operator this is famous famously known as piping so like you can i call like in my previous recon videos i mentioned this particular thing for several times okay uh, like the single one is called a pipe and the double uh, vertical lines are called as a or okay so anything is fine okay so i'll note that down so the one is a semicolon and end okay and or and a pipe okay so th these four are some parameters that you need to remember in this case so now you can see that i'm showing i'm trying to show this on a metasploitable okay so let me close this everything down and let me go to this thing so this is my web application that i'm going to target and i'm going to set the dvwa security for low as of now let me click on submit and i'm going to the command execution part so here you can see uh, like vulnerable command injection you can see ping for free like you can enter an ip address and it is going to ping that so let me do a simple thing so i'm going to uh, mention a loopback ip here and let me click on submit and uh, let's see what happens you can see it did a ping uh, like for three packets i think so like three packets were transmitted and three packets were received as this is a loopback ip and one imp the the best way or the best the reason why i mentioned this dvwa is you get an access to the view source code as well 
so here you can see view source so if i click on that let me enlarge this a little bit you can see uh, this is a php based code so you don't need to like i'll try to e mention that easily so you can see there is a variable target and it is requesting a parameter ip okay so so you can see if uh, the parameter that it is sending is ip okay so what it is doing is it is simply executing that particular target like it is not even filtering the variable here okay like it is doing a ping and uh, you can see uh, here that ping hyphen c and uh, three here like three hyphen c three in the sense like it is sending only three packets here and that's it okay so that is what happening and it is you can see in the comments like it is trying to determine the operating system as well so if it is based on windows it is doing this or else it is doing that okay so let me try to exploit this particular thing simply so i'm going to mention the ip and i'm going to mention a a pipe here a single line here a pipe and the pipe in the sense uh, i'll try to mention clearly who am i so this is what my payload is so i'll show you that here uh, so you can see that uh, this pipe so what this pipe does is this is not an or operator this is a pipe operator so it is not going to display the previous command so what the previous command is like the ping hyphen c and this thing this is the previous thing so what it is going to show me like this output like uh, when you do a ping you will be getting some output right it is not going to show me that output it is going to simply show me this who am i output only so let me show you that you can see www hyphen data is the user type and you can also try to mention some uh, other like other pair delimiters or uh, other things as well uh, like you can try to mention and okay and let me hit on submit there you can see you still got the ww hyphen data and i'm going to show you the other payload as well the next one is semicolon so semicolon is also an important thing like if you are familiar with this programming and stuff you will be definitely knowing what the uh, advantage of this semicolon okay again you can see that i'm getting ww hyphen data and i'm going to show you the other thing as well the or there is no much difference between and and or here but uh, there is something like on the basis of true and false it is determined okay so since there is an or operator like only the first one is getting executed there okay so that is the difference there so this is what for the easy type and uh, in the next part i'll be showing you for the medium and the high settings so that is it guys for today's video i hope you find this video really helpful and in the next part i'll cover the medium and the high and also i'll try to mention the mitigation process as well so this is satvik signing off uh, thank you for watching this video until the end i'll meet you in the next video thank you